Hello, Solarloon here, and here's a kind of inside the code base look at the end. Um, I'm doing this because somebody was interested in my dialogue code. Uh, they wanted to know how to do a typewriter effect, and also someone else asked about my dialogue in either this or Valkyrie. I don't, don't even remember, um, and I'm sorry for taking so long to get to that that one guy. Um, I can't remember your name off the top of my head, but I feel like I know who it is. And um, yeah, I'm sorry for taking so long. To, to do this, but um, I've been doing a lot of work on gear and refactoring the code base and stuff. I'll show what I have. Um, I should have some new interesting things uh, in the next devlog video, but anyway, um, anyway, I'm just going to basically show how I do the dialogue in gear end. So first of all, let's take a look at basically where this begins, which is the NPC. So this is a guard. This is the bear guard. And so he runs a simple script that just says, okay, run the script, you know, the bear guard script. And his script runs here. It sets some variables and things, and the real meat of it is done in the NPC general script. So you, this this is kind of like a, you know, because the NPC general script does pretty much the same thing for all NPCs. What, what's it doing? For all NPCs, um, all the NPCs run this run one function, and you know the code is shared. So the NPC general script does a few things. It handles like NPC movement. It handles um, facing the character. It handles doing a lot of stuff that basically we don't really um, need to cover here. The main thing is when we go ahead and have the player interact with the with the NPC, we press the E key to interact or the A button on the joystick to interact. Um, we set the trigger variable here, OBJ trigger, and what that does for the NPC is, is you know basically it's saying, "Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm interacting with you," and so the NPC knows that it's been triggered. Um, I think I also have it. Uh, you know, being able to tell that it's being talked to in particular, like, uh, or rather, the player is is talking to it. It's keeping keeping a reference to the player. And anyway, it says, okay, so I'm I'm talking to the player, and it adds the dialogue index here. So that means that basically it's stepping through the message. So as you can see in my function here, each um, I don't know what's up with this. Um, each NPC has its own dialogue tree and that's uh, set up here this is kind of un unnecessary and more than really nest uh, well uh, kind of unnecessary and kind of awkward um, because I have little like additional things uh, you can see that I'm basically using di a dictionary to organize the dialogues so uh, by index so like zero is this um, dialogue one would be another dialogue and these are uh, lists of dialogues so you could basically um, yeah, you could you could basically have lots of different, you know, individual lines of dialogue in a single section. So anyway, this is more than necessary. I'm not trying to go off track. I'm talking about just the basic di dialogue system. This was a dialogue system that I designed for um, a previous project that I never showed pretty much anywhere on YouTube, um, and it used like had dialogue choices. It had stuff like that. So that's this whole thing is designed over or around that. So. I'm going to disregard all of that stuff and just talk about the basic dialogues. So anyway, we have the dialogue here. It's, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's a list of the, um, it's a list of the lines of dialogue that, that the NPC states. And over here, we say, okay, if it's been triggered, then we uh, increment the dialogue index variable that tells the uh, NPC what dialogue to, to basically use and then it sets that dialogue into a global dic uh, I'm sorry global vol uh, variable the logic die dialogue text variable so this is basically the NPC has is being interacted with and then it pushes the dialogue it should say to logic die dialogue text this is you know kind of basic that's not really the hard part um, well it's kind of the hard part it's a lot of code but it's not um, you know, the, the mechanics itself should be pretty simple to work out for yourself if you're uh, um, familiar with Python. You're getting, you know, um, interacting with the NPC, so you get the reference to the NPC, set a variable over there so that it knows it's being interacted with, the NPC checks which dialogue it needs to, to say, and it pushes it to a global variable for the GUI to, to pick up. And so that's what's happening over here in the GUI scene. Um, over here, this is my GUI scene. Um, it's kind of in 3D, even though the camera is orthographic. So, you know, we have some depth there. 
So really all this um, really is regarding is just these four elements, the message window, which handles all of the code for the messages uh, that display the, the text. And then we have the dialog picture, the text, the actual text object, and the little icon in the bottom right corner that indicates that the message can be advanced or that the message is finished. Um, over here in the GUI code, GUI.py is pretty much where everything happens, right here, message win. So, first things first, we get some variables, um, well, we, we set some variables, initialize some stuff. We get a reference, excuse me, we get a reference to the message text, uh, message window text object. We set the resolution so that it can be nice and high resolution, but not too high resolution, because uh, that will slow down Blender. This is something that 3D text objects like this use. Um, we have a finished icon that we're getting the reference to here. That's what this variable is. We have the face pick variable that is a reference to the message window picture uh, um, object. And then I, this is something that I've added a, a sprite map um, object. That's, I'm reworking my BG helper function, or re, uh, code base. I'm re reworking all of my code base. So the stuff that's going to be on SVN, my uh, Google, Google code. Uh, repository well let me back up I have my code like my sprites and everything on a Google code repository and I'm basically going to annihilate it at all and restart from scratch and so well I've already done that uh, and I haven't uploaded it to my Google code repository yet but I probably will by the end of this video um, by the time it's up this video is up on YouTube you'll be able to go to my Google code repository and get my entire BG helper um, module which is going to be pretty much everything um, you will see what it is later on, but it's going to be like BG Helper dot sprites dot math dot mesh, and it'll have different things like that. Uh, nice and easy to use. So anyway, I'll, I'll go into that later. So we're doing different things, um, but none of this really has anything to do with the text uh, itself. So that's what I'm trying to focus on. So here is where we kind of get into it. One, uh, we have the message that we're trying to display. This is kind of important. We have the message index. So that's basically what point the text that's being displayed is at. So we can basically cut the message that we're trying to display from zero to the message index and then increment that message index to get the typewriter effect. So it, you know, every frame, if you add one, then it'll be zero to zero, zero to one, zero to two, zero to three. And so it'll quickly um, draw out the, the uh, message. Um, text advanced speed is how many characters to advance the text by every frame or no every time we advance the text uh, every time we basically do the typewriter effect how many characters should we add on at a time text advanced time is how often to do that so right here is 0 0.2 uh, 0.025 of a second so that's what I don't know um, like a it's like a 40th of a second then we have the timer here that we use to actually check to see if it's time to add uh, I, those two characters to the message um, and that's basically it for the text so we want to check to see the logic dialog text if that global dialog text function uh, variable from earlier if it's none if it is basically basically blank then we go ahead and basically reset everything we make sure that the object the message when object is invisible and that is recursive so it goes down to all the children which are these guys um, we also set the message index to zero so that you know we can start from scratch for the next message and we also set the logic that dialog finished variable to false and that's uh, another variable that I made to keep track of whether the message is finished drawing or if we need to do some more stuff or what um, yeah it, it's useful uh, especially when we go and check to see if we if we should draw this message message when advanced text icon uh, if it should draw and animate. So anyway, we check to see if the message index is greater than or equal to the length of the dialog text that we're trying to, that, uh, you know, is supposed to be drawn. And if so, then the dialog's finished, right? We have 50 characters in our, in our uh, dialog text that we're trying, supposed to draw, that an NPC is asking to draw, and the message index is on 90. Well then, yeah, it's finished. Um, if the message to display is not the same as the dialog text, then that means that we're not finished because it's basically two different messages. So we're trying to display the this message when object is trying to display a past message 
and the NPC is trying to push a new message. Well, we need to basically reset. We need to set the dialog finished back to zero, or false, and set the uh, message index back to zero. Um, this is not useful for uh, directly because this is for regarding, again, an old system of dialog options that I don't have in uh, gear and, or I don't plan to have. Or maybe I will have it, I don't know. <laughs> um, here I um, replace an element in the dialog text with uh, the player's name. Um, so that's something I, I never did before, but it's really simple. I just use a simple escape character, you could say, a escape sequence, forward slash pn to represent the player's name. So you can rename your, if well if I have it so that you can rename your character in the beginning of the game, anywhere I have dialogue that references, references him, I can just uh, add slash pn to replace it with the character's name, which is S0 or SO191 or whatever. So anyway, here we set the text object's text uh, itself. So that we replace, replace, hey there, this is the three line message window, neat, huh? With the actual message. And this is kind of where uh, most of the stuff the typewriter effect hap, uh, effect kind of shows up. We replace the dialog text with a slice. So that's from zero to a rounding of the message index. So you know we're, we're adding to the message index gradually, right? So we round off that that number, um, which is, it. this is a float, it doesn't need to be rounded uh, because we're adding whole numbers onto it each time. But um, anyway, we, we, so that, let me, let me go back. We could just do it like this. So we slice the text from zero to the message index, and then we set the message uh, to, to display locally that we're trying to display to the logic dialog text. So that next frame we can check and see is it different. Remember, that way we, if we check to see if, it, if it's uh, different, if these aren't the same, then we know that it, we need to start over. Um, okay, so if time dot clock is uh, minus the uh, last time we advance the text is greater than the amount of time we should wait to advance the text then we go ahead and reset the timer and add the text advance speed or the text advance character number to the message index so every 40th of a second it's going to go ahead and add the message index now naturally um you know i'm running this at 60 frames per second so that's you know basically every frame is 1 60th of a second so it really is going to be every other frame or every 30 uh, I'll basically advance the text every other frame or 30 times a second even though I'm trying to do it 40 t uh, times a second because of this uh, value you know because the first frame is going to be a 60th of a second which is less than a 40th of a second and the second frame is going to be two 60th of a second or 1 30th of a second which is more than a 40th of a second so it doesn't really matter um, it's just you know I I'm just letting you know that I know I'm not going to get get uh, the fidelity that I actually uh, coded it in. But anyway, now that's that's basically it. Um, if the message index is less than the length of the message that we're trying to display, and we're obviously incrementing this uh, message variable here when it's time, then we go ahead and play a sound, which is the robot voice sound. And that's basically it. We have other stuff here that's not related to the code. So the actual text uh, writer effect is pretty simple. It's just basically message index. Make a message index variable. Slice the text you're trying to display from zero to the message index variable and increment the variable. That's basically it. Um, for displaying the text, you can just use the text uh, object, get a reference to the text object, and set its text variable. So these two things together, it's pretty simple to, to code up a uh, dialogue system that works pretty well and displays the text that you need to display using a font or whatever on screen and everything's nice and slick. Um, one last thing that I might want to point out um, this message window is this little square. I uh, divide my message windows into uh, three by three squares. This is a okay that's not even. I'm looking at it but it's not even. But this is basically a 48 by 48 uh, little plane and you can also obviously you know use different message windows uh, window styles very simply and very easily okay well that's it um, thank you very much for watching I've been solar loon and hopefully this has been a nice little interesting look into the gear and code base and how I do my messages um, or message windows uh, for NPCs and for dialogue and stuff all right thank you very much for watching and uh, you have fun